In today's video, we'll start the FCSB rebuild in FM24. If you don't know, uh, FCSB or FCSB in Romanian, it's the most prestigious club from Romania. They are the team that won uh, Champions League in 1986. But unfortunately, due to some problems with the state of Romania, the team that has the palmares of the Champions League, it's Steaua București. But actually, the real club is uh, FCSB. And they didn't win uh, Superliga, the first league of Romania, from 2014-2015 season. But uh, they are still the most loved uh, team in Romania. And in this rebuild that will take five years, we'll try to remake F FCSB the greatest team in Romania. And by that I mean we will um, aim to win at least three Superligas and to be constantly in the league phase of Champions League. So let's get it started. Firstly, the team is uh, a little older in my opinion. And uh, in the first season I will try to take care of the players that are over 27 years old. So that we will be a development team that sells in uh, the biggest countries. We have some uh, great uh, players uh, like Octavian Popescu that he can develop uh, for stars and the uh, half potential ability. Radoslavescu 5 star potential ability. Uh, Florin Alcoman is the best player from the team right now with uh, Dario Solaru, the captain of the team. Uh, and uh, also the transfer budget for the first season is uh, 400,000 euros with a decent payroll of 6.2 million and uh, yeah let's see what transfers we did we are at the end of the transfer window and uh, we actually didn't buy a lot of players we bought Bakari Samake that is for the second team he has quite decent uh, ability, potential ability, and we also bought uh, Rodrigo Gonzalez, that is a uh, right back, an Argentinian right back, that is uh, very good, and uh, we sold just Yunot Spencer, uh, and I wanted to free some wages. If we go to the tactic, we will use a uh, 4 to 3 1. Uh, with the best 11 being uh, Companio as a solo striker, left wing Coma, right wing Rotario, center attacking midfielder Baluz, uh, the two midfielders are the Slovescu and Shoot. Uh, where is Olaro? I think Olaro will be here. And the four uh, defenders Radunovic, Kirkesh, Dawa, Gonzalez, and the uh, goalkeeper Ternovano. Uh, also, I think the team will play with Octavian Popescu here or here because uh, in Romania's league we need at least one uh, under 21 player. So that's why the Slovescu is here. But we'll see. I will let the assistant manager to take care of it uh, through the season. If we go to the schedule. Uh, we played the Europa Conference League, but unfortunately we were uh, eliminated in the fourth qualifying round by Partizan Belgrade uh, for free on aggregate. So not the best start in Europe, but it's fine. Also, if we look at the table, we actually simulated uh, a lot further than just 1st of September and uh, we started the season pretty decent. We are third in uh, the Superliga with 28 points, just 4 points uh, from the first place. Okay, let's see how the season went. We are at the end of the season and we won the league. Wow, great. We actually finished uh, with the same amount of points as Hermannstadt that is uh, on the second place. That wasn't the best end of the season, but we managed to win the league. And if we go to the league table before the playoffs, we were actually behind Hermannstadt. 
so we managed to recover a little bit uh, if we go to the stats uh, Compagno is the goal scorer of the league and uh, Frenel Coman and Baluz are the second and third in average rating so they played uh, pretty decent pretty good I would say uh, also Turnovano 13 uh, shutouts at the end of the season Kirikesh will retire Djokovic will also retire and uh, Ovidiu Popescu decided to leave on a free he was uh, also a little older and uh, didn't play quite a lot so I think we'll replace them just Kirikesh played uh, a lot if we go to the goals, Companion 27 goals, Baluz 17, Niculescu 11 and the others under 10 and assist wise we have Baluz 16, Coman and Rotario 11. It was a pretty good season, we managed to win the league and this is very important. If we go to the past winners, we see that uh, FCSB didn't win from 2015 where they won 3 in a row objective accomplished for the first season also transfers we have a budget of almost 1 million and a good wage available we are in september right now and uh, we did a lot of transfers because a lot of players uh, retired also and uh, i wanted to make the team uh, younger firstly in january of last season we brought in uh, Nduka Jr, a very young uh, Nigerian, so center back, he looks very good, his strength is a little low but he's very good for 23 years old and also his potential ability is 4 stars, so very good. And Yorko Pelombi, another center back with very good physicals and mentals. Then in this season we sold a lot of players so uh, Florinel Coman for 3.6 million to Alfez Ali wanted to leave and also Octavian Popescu needed to play more so he will replace Florinel Coman in the first 11 uh, then Ngezana was sold to Universitatea Cluj Denis Harutz uh, didn't like him as much because of his uh, acceleration pace and also decent uh, marking and tackling and mentals are not that great so we didn't need him then Christian Gane 32 years old he was decent he was good actually but 32 years old I want to make this team younger and to buy players to sell or to improve the quality of the team if I can because it's 32 years old and uh, 32 years old also Ristora Dunovic they the players will decrease a lot in uh, football manager and uh, their physicals will be very bad after one season okay so Christian Gane Ristora Dunovic both for 75k Andrei Vlad he was totally unhappy at the club and I had to sell him and Ovidio Periano on a free and we brought in players just on a free transfer a replacement for the two left backs that left Alexandro the ex Juventus player uh, I wanted him for the mainly for the reputation he's on a very high wage but uh, he will stay maximum one season maybe we will even uh, get some money from him but uh, his reputation is very good and we need we need that at our club then Ignacio Ramirez a very good striker he will compete with Companio for the advanced forward position Ben Chir Ben Said a very good strong goalkeeper he is uh, the first uh, 11 goalkeeper from Tunisia Matthew Ward, another left back, 26 years old, very well rounded. Denis Dragush, a very good deep lying forward, and he's also Romanian, 
maybe he can also have some room for improvement the finishing uh, might need a little bit of work and Matteo Morey this one I like very much right back very good uh, ex Manchester ex Barcelona sorry player and Dortmund we go to the tactic we will have Compagno and Ramirez uh, as the two strikers but here I think uh, we can change to advanced forward but value uh, is more like a target forward we will see uh, if in January I will, I will have to change something then on the left we have uh, Popescu on the right the uh, the assistant manager put Solaru but I think we can play like this also or even Baluza we have a lot of rotation players uh, in the midfield I will say Olaro and shoot uh, left back Alexandro the two center backs and Duca Jr and Dawa and right back Morey and as the goalkeeper we have Ben Said very good uh, better than Turnovano at this point but uh, we will see we'll uh, get the spot let's see what we did in champion so um in the second qualifying round we won 5-2 on an aggregate versus Helsinki then 6-1 versus IK Dance that's very good so we won 5-1 at home in the playoff we played Copenhagen and we won 4-3 on an aggregate so we joined the league phase of Champions League in just our second season at the club that's very nice very good achievement I didn't expect that to be honest uh, in the second season because the team isn't that different but the players that we brought in are very good and very well rounded and uh, right now we have a talented uh, squad and uh, some players have uh, space to improve also uh, if we go and look at the other schedules we didn't lose a game for now we won the super cup of romania and then a lot of uh, wins in the super liga and some draws also but it's very good if we consider that we played two games a week in the Superliga we have 5 wins for draws uh, at the end of the transfer window in the summer and we are actually first see you at the end of the season we are at the end of the season and we won the league again wow for the second time Hermannstadt is second wow uh, they usually are not that good uh, so we won by 7 points and in the league table we were 14 points ahead of the second place that's amazing very good season again but uh, what we did in the champions league we go to the league phase we were eliminated there uh 29th out of 36 teams uh, we actually won two games versus final and Galatasaray. uh drew one game versus wolfsburg and lost five games versus Juventus, Sevilla, Arsenal, PSG, and Sporting Lisbon. Yeah, it was expected to not win versus those teams, but I'm pretty proud that we won uh, versus Feyenoord and Galatasaray. They are very strong teams, and uh, yeah, I think we did a pretty good job. Also, we I think we won a lot of money from. Uh, from the Champions League, yeah, we have uh, 18 million in the bank balance and 14 million transfer budget. Wow, that's impressive. If we go to the Superliga, we have uh, no goal scorer in the first three. That's pretty weird for the champion uh, of the league. We have in fourth position Denis Dragush and uh, Ignacio Ramirez, but I don't see companion here okay uh, average rating we have the first three Dragush, Educa and Olaru 
shoutouts Ben Said uh, I think I have to show you some transfers in September 21st September we brought in a Juke but we couldn't register him for the Superliga so we registered him on 1st of January Alexis Sanchez yeah you see good he came on 1st of January on a free and uh, didn't play quite good 12 games just two starts then off the bench one goal two assists uh, Hampus Findel uh, midfielder very good also on a free he he was re, uh, he didn't renew his contract at Jurgardson uh, and we sold Alexandro he started to decline acceleration pace 10 and uh, yeah I think he also didn't play it quite a lot he played 13 games but I think that was the best move also on a very uh, high salary and uh, we also sold our first goalkeeper Ben Said but this is for the next season we sold him at the end of uh, this season so it didn't affect us we also got a profit from him of 1.3 million if we go and look at the other competitions in the Cup of Romania we were eliminated in semi-final on extra time by Hermannstadt 3-2 and the final was won also by Hermannstadt wow they are a very good club in this save uh, if we go to the team by goals Ignacio Ramirez 28 goals Dragush 23, Octavian Popescu 15, Companion just 11 and I already put him on the transfer list uh, assist wise Denis Olaru Ward with 10 and the other are pretty average let's see how the transfer window of the season 3 went if we go to the last season uh, transfers we brought in Wagner Leonardo on 2 million uh, he's a very good center back for uh, the Romanian league and we also had the 14 million budget uh, also we sold at the end of the season as I showed in the last video we sold our main goalkeeper Benchir Ben Said and starting with uh, 1st of July we brought in a lot of players and sold a lot of players the main ones we sold uh, Dawa on 1.5 million, Adrian Schutt 800, uh, 900k, uh, Dorin Rotario 750,000, Miculescu 700, Rodrigo Gonzalez, the right back that we brought in in the first season 500, Turnovano 500, Companio just 160, and he had a very good first season. For our 24 goals but unfortunately in the second season just six goals in 24 appearances i could not accept that and then a lot of other players uh, left the club but not that important we brought in petar sucic 3.7 million he is a center a box-to-box -box midfielder 21 years old his potential ability is five star so a good player for the future Machado striker I don't know if he will uh, play for us this season for sure not because I already loan him then Christian Mihai 1.4 million I needed a new under 21 player as uh, is not meeting the age right now Rivaldo Co Coetzee he can play on three different positions center back uh, defensive midfielder and center midfielder very good passing 18 very good mentals he can help the team a lot Emre Moore for the right wing position mostly as a rotation but a rotation player but very good he played for Dortmund in the past for Galata Fenerbahce very talented uh, then Florinda Andone this transfer is very unexpected but I saw the opportunity and uh, brought him just 200,000 uh, euros per year and uh, yeah he looks very good for uh, our team Yunus Radu 
from Inter, the Romanian national team goalkeeper, 25 caps. Uh, then another goalkeeper, Alessandro Pizzari, as in this window we sold uh, both our goalkeepers, Don Novano and Ben Said. And the last one, the last transfer, Frabota, a new left back. Our team right now is like this. So in the first best 11 is Dragush and Andone, the, the two strikers. On the left we have Popescu, on the right we have Ejuke, but Emre Mor can also play here. Then we have uh, as midfielders Findel and Sucic. Uh, Olaru can play instead of Findel or instead of Ejuke too. So he will still be uh, an important part in our team. And he is still our captain. On the left we have Frabota, on the right Morey. The two center backs are Anduka Jr. and Koeti. Uh, Anduka Jr. developed quite nice, 16 marking. His strength is still low, but maybe he has still some improvement to do. And our uh, main goalkeeper is Jonas Radu. Schedule wise, for now, we won almost every game. Just drew one game against Shah. Shahtar. So we started in the second qualifying round 10 1 versus Buduknost. Then one on aggregate, then 4-2 against Shakhtar, 7-4 in the playoff versus Bodo Glimt, and we went to the league phase where we are gonna play uh, Lausanne, Red Bull Salzburg, Monaco, Eintracht Frankfurt, Liverpool, Atletico Madrid, Manchester City, and Ajax. To be honest, it's easier than in last season. We have Lausanne, Red Bull Salzburg and Andre Frankfurt that we can get some points from. But we will see. We also play at home versus Lausanne. But unfortunately the other three games are versus better teams I will say. A lot better. Liverpool, Atletico Madrid and Ajax. But we will see. Maybe we have a chance to be in the first 24 uh, teams that advance further. So. We'll see. We are at the end of the season and we won the third Superliga in a row. That's amazing. If we go to Champions Playoff, we finish five points ahead of Paru. And in the league table, in the main league table, we were 13 points ahead of uh, the second team. So it was pretty one sided, I'll say. We have the highest highest goal scorer in Ramirez, 23 goals, three best players also in Ejuke, Ramirez and uh, Cosmin Mihai. So Ejuke played uh, very well. Shout outs, we have uh, Yonus Raudu in the second place. The other competitions, we, oh, okay, we advanced in the league phase, wow, 11th place. 5 wins versus Ajax, Liverpool, Frankfurt, Red Bull Salzburg and Lausanne. Wow, that's incredible. We won versus Liverpool at home. Oh, how? How did we manage to do that? Uh, where is Liverpool? Liverpool is behind us. Wow. So if we go to schedules, Liverpool. To one, our goals were scored by Denis Dragush. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that to be honest. Five wins, so we advanced and we were knocked out by Juventus 6 2. Yeah, that's more, that's more realistic to happen, to be honest. So we lost 5 1 at home. Okay, uh, in the other competitions, we were knocked out. In the semi final by Chefere, and uh, the cup was won by Rapid, and we also won another super cup. If we go to the goals, Ramirez, Denis Dragush, Andone, all above 20 goals. Andone is also retiring after this season, he played 53 games. I think he could have stayed more like one year. That his stamina was dropping, and uh, I don't know if he would have played as much in the next season. But yeah, we also have a lot of players wanted 
or uh, requesting to leave a lot of players are uh, transfer listed but we will see that in the next season uh, transfers we have for the next season 28 millions oh my god this is the biggest transfer budget i i saw at the romanian football club we bought one player in january oscar perea uh, left wing very good 20 years old also five star potential and we sold a juke to al hazem he played so good in the first part of the season 7.48 that he got a transfer to saudi arabia for 3.5 millions and the budget is increasing a lot so i hope that in the next seasons we will establish to go out of the champions league because of the champions league league phase because it will be a very huge boost for the romania league let's get the season 4 started we started the transfer window with a big budget 20 plus million and, uh, the first player that we brought in is thomas angel striker very well rounded little smaller so it's not uh, pressing forward or target forward but he's very good in all the departments uh, mostly as a deep line forward i see him and also we sold uh, Giorgio pelumbi for 600,000, uh, he was our backup center back and Malcolm Ejuma just wanted to escape from him because he had a very big uh, wage and after 1st of G July we sold Alessandro Pilizzari, our backup goalkeeper I don't think he played that much for us just 15 uh, games a season but we got 1 million and broke him on a pre Ignacio Ramirez, our main striker, we wanted to improve the strikers and all the departments because we had a lot of money and most of the money went into the wages, but you will see. Then we sold the Matthew Ward, our uh, backup left back, Denis Dragush, he was, he was not developing as I like, as I wanted, uh, finishing just 11 so yeah um campus Finder also he got replaced and a lot of other players were loaned out and we brought in cosme montan he's a new gen in this game romanian under 21 player just 18 years old and he is incredible incredible for this league for this country very good physical 16 finishing 15 flare at just 18 years old it's very good uh, then we brought in milos kovic lukovic another striker he's very good at passing again at the blind forward uh, we brought in also a new left back rafael obrador from uh, Real Madrid's second team Sebastiano Esposito another striker as I said I wanted to improve on the strikers very talented player uh, wonder kid in the last FMs from Inter and yeah I think he, he and uh, Cosme Montano will be our uh, dual partnership in the striker position this player is mostly for the experience and reputation uh, center back we brought him just for one season Jonathan Gradit then Mihai Popa our new backup goalkeeper I needed uh, more Romanian players for the Champions League registration and the last transfer is Hans Nicolusi Cavilia also on a free from Juve center midfielder very well-rounded very good passing technique work rate natural fitness box to box midfielder from the nature tactic is not changed we will use the same formation and if we go and select the best 11 we have here thomas angel but because of the under 21 rule uh, we will have cosmo montano with Sebastiano Esposito on the left we have Perea that we brought in January of last year Polaro is put on the right but a lot of other players can play there like Emre Moore, 
like Milos Lukovic, etc. And then we have the midfield partnership Sucic and Kavilia comes in. On the left, Frabota, Anduka Jr., Koeti and Morey is our defensive from last season also. Koeti knows Radu in the goalkeeper, of course. Schedule-wise, a lot of wins, a lot of green. Uh, and just one lose and this is in uh, Super League. If we go to Champions League, in the second qualifying round, we eliminated Honka for 1-1 on aggregate. Then in the third qualifying round, we eliminated Olymp Olympia Ljubljana 7-0. And in the playoff, we eliminated Panathinaikos, the champions of Greece, for one and we're in the league phase where we are gonna play Besiktas, Red Bull Salzburg, Manchester United, Milan, Brann, Club Bruges, Real Madrid and AS Roma. In Superliga for now we have 7 wins and 1 draw and 1 lose and we are first just one point above Universitatea Cluj. Let's simulate the season. And we won another Superliga. 17 points above the second place in Sheffield Cruz. Uh, if we go to the league table, Sheffield Cruz is the second, FC Arges is the third. Wow, in the main league table, we were just 12 points above Sheffield, so we won, yeah, we won most of our games in the Champions Playoff. So, another league title. That's impressive. Let's see what we did in the other competitions. And we were knocked out in the round of 16 of Champions League. If we go to the league phase, we finished 12. We beat on Roma, Club Rouge, Brann, Red Bull, Salzburg and Besiktas. These clubs were, weren't that good like last season when we beat uh, Liverpool or Ajax. Just Roma is a tough opponent, but the others I expected to win. And we lost 3 near to Real Madrid, 5-1 versus Milan and 3-1 versus Manchester United. Then we were put in the knockout playoff round where we eliminated Feyenoord for free on an aggregate. Then we lost in the round of 16, 8-2 versus Benfica. Wow, 7-0. And we didn't even get a red card here. Wow, that was really bad. And the Champions League was won by Manchester City in the final versus Liverpool 2-0. Uh, in the other competitions, we won our first Romanian Cup, finally, after four seasons. And we also won uh, the Super Cup of Romania. Uh, in the winter, we brought in uh, James McKetty from on a free from Manchester City from the Academy of Manchester City actually uh, he came as a center midfielder deep playing playmaker and uh, he played most of the games since he came in uh, 18 games in the league and uh, three in uh, Champions League so he came strong in the into our starting 11 and is valued to 6.8 million and he came in because Petar Sucic was sold to Alweda. For the next season we have 46 million in the transfer budget and 16 million as a wage available but unfortunately not a lot of players want to come to our club because of our reputation we still have just three stars and a lot of money in the bank but we try to improve from season to season if we check the goals of the players Thomas Angel 31 goals so he played most of the games then we have Cosme Montano the 18 years old player 26 Sebastiano Esposito 23 and a lot of other players with a lot of goals yeah very good season the goal side also Cosme Montano is wanted by Juventus Perea wanted by Saudi League clubs also Emre Mor, also Cavilla, Christian Mihai 
Duca Junior, all are wanted by Saudi clubs. That means that we can make more money, but I don't think we really need this because we can't buy players as good as I would want to. Let's see what transfer did we do. This season was the best uh, in terms of transfers in, in my opinion. Firstly, we brought in uh, Ciprian Preotesa, a very talented winger, just 19 years old, Romanian. He was brought in for 2.4 million. And after 1st of July, we did a lot of big transfers, but also sold a lot of people or loaned them all out. First, we sold Eric Stan to Liverpool for 12.5 million. He had a release clause and I couldn't keep him uh, in the team. So I had to sell him. Then we sold Cavilla, our uh, center midfielder for 6.5 million and Wagner Leonardo, our backup center back for 1.8 million. But if you remember, we had a lot of uh, money left in our transfer budget. So we transferred for 34 million. The biggest transfer is Santiago Ramos Mingo for 10 million. Another center back. He is a very good squad player, in my opinion. Very good physicals and mentals. Then Flavius Daniel Luke. He is an interesting transfer, in, in my opinion, as even though he has great mentals, great technicals, great physicals, he is also half Romanian. Uh, his parents are Romanian. He represents Austria, though, because he was born there. But I thought that it would be very interesting to have him. Then Luca, Luca Verbancic, uh, center midfielder or center attacking midfielder. Young, just 22 years old, very well rounded, four star, uh, four star uh, current ability. Then Marek Siegel, uh, new gen, right winger, four star current ability, very, very good physicals. Almost everything is over 15, and jumping and strength are not important for a winger. Uh, he can also develop with 5 star potential ability and he was very cheap. Then we brought in Francisco Herrero, 3.9 million, also new gen, center midfielder. I don't see him playing this season as much, but 17 passing, just 8 vision though, 16 technique, 16 dribbling, so he can develop 4 star potential ability. And the last two transfers are from uh, South Africa, 500, 500k for uh, Lorenz Mudau, center midfielder, but can also play as striker or center attacking midfielder. And uh, if we look at him, I am training him to become a deep playing playmaker as a center midfielder. And the last one is David Ngsumalo. Also 500k, very good uh, physicals, four and a half star potential ability. Tactic wise, if we select the best 11, we have the same strikers as last season, Thomas Angel and uh, Montano. We actually kept Montano, but he is currently unhappy. Then on the left, uh, Perea, on the right, Siegel, very good as I said. Pera developed uh, very well, he, he achieved his potential ability. Then a uh, deep-lying playmaker, Makati, the last uh, January transfer. Then Verbancic, box-to-box, Frabota on the left, back position, Morey on the right back position, center-backs, Anduka Jr. He actually resisted all the five seasons. If you remember, uh, he had like 6 strength and right now he has 10. That was his downfall, but on the other parts, he is incredible in my opinion. And the other center back is Daniliuk, that can also play as a right back. If Morey is injured or whatever. 
and our goalkeeper continues to be Yonut's Rad. Schedule wise, for now we simulated a little more than it was ex uh, expected, but I will show you just until September. We had a very good start of uh, Liga of Superliga or Liga 1. Uh, we had mostly wins and also in the Champions League first qualifying round we eliminated Shkupi from uh, Macedonia 11-2 uh, on an aggregate then in the second qualifying round we eliminated RFS from Latvia 10-3 in the third qualifying round we eliminated Punic 10-1 on an aggregate for Roma Armenia and in the playoff we were eliminated by Shakhtar 3-2 on an aggregate so we went to Europa League where I can't show you who we are gonna play but I will show you at the end of the season so let's simulate we are at the end of the season and we won the title for the fifth time in a row if we go to the champions playoff we finished 20 points above Jeffrey Cluj and we did the fiver also in the league table, we before the playoff, we were 21 points above Jeffrey Cluj, so a very big difference between us and the second place. If we go to Europa League, league phase, we finished 6th, so we qualified uh, further without uh, playing um, the playoff. Uh, we went through round of 16 directly. We won 6 games out of 8 versus Austria Vienna, 3-2 versus Lorian, 3-0, 6-1 versus Basel, 4-1 versus Fenerbahce, 1-0 versus Monza, and 3-2 versus Lyon, and we lost 2-1 both games versus Freiburg and Real Betis. If we go further in the knockout playoff round, we didn't play. In the round of 16, we eliminated Genk. 7-4 on an aggregate then in the quarter final we were eliminated by newcastle 8-4 wow we we went pretty further i i did expect to <clears throat> to advance further in uh, europa league in the quarter final round of 16 or something like this but eliminating newcastle would have been impossible in my opinion also in the semi-final uh, Newcastle and Milan advanced and the final was won by Newcastle I think in the quarter final the three teams that could eliminate to us were Newcastle Leipzig and um, Milan uh, also if we go to check the goals Cosme Montano 39 goals he's currently wanted by Saudi Arabia club also, Thomas Angel 31 goals, Sebastiano Esposito 25, Perea 19, Olaru 17, Verbancic 14, Morey 10, so a lot of goals for our players, assist wise Perea 27, and a lot of other people having a lot of assists, so they did actually improve a lot. For the next season, 43 million in the transfer budget and 12 million wage available yeah it was a very good rebuild in my opinion we went on to to win a lot of things also in the other competitions we won another cup in romania and another super cup so a lot of trophies so we won uh, the first season superliga and the super cup of romania then in the second season superliga and also the super cup the third season superliga and the super cup in the fourth season, Superliga, the Cup and Super Cup, and in the last season, Superliga and the Cup, the Super Cup needs to be played, so it doesn't count for now. Uh, also, if we go and uh, see what coefficient we have, we are uh, on the 42nd position for this season but for the next season we are close to the 30th position yeah so on the page it appears 28th positions and we are just below the 20th position so on 30. 
yeah we improved a lot our club and the league also i think uh romania the super liga is in the 24th position not imp didn't improve as much as i hoped but it's pretty okay nation wise romania 57 not the best but nation club coefficients we have romania on the 16th position thank you for watching the rebuild this is the end and see you with another rebuild on the channel